Hi guys, I'm Angelique and today we're going to look at consumer and producer surplus. Consumer surplus. Let's look at the definition. It is the difference between the maximum total price a consumer would be willing to pay for the amount of the product he buys and the actual total price. Let's look at the graph for consumer surplus. So consumer surplus is the difference between the maximum price a consumer was willing to pay and the actual price they ended up paying. So let's make the maximum price they are willing to pay $20 and let's make the equilibrium price or the actual price that they ended up paying as $10. And just remember your equilibrium we get by the interception between supply and demand, those two curves. So let's make our equilibrium quantity here 50. So the equilibrium price is 10, equilibrium quantity 50. Now, in order to work out this lovely little triangular area, I have to use the formula for to work out the area of a triangle. So let's use the formula. So it's half times base times height. So our base would be 50, our height would be 10 because it's the difference between 20 and 10 and let's do this. Okay, So it's half times base 50 times height 10 and that should end up giving me 250. Now at the same time you would also be expected to work out the area of my square. So let's do this. Or you could use the formula to work out expenditure, which is similar to the formula for working out revenue, which is price times quantity. So you have two options there. But typically speaking, you will have to be able to identify the shapes and be able to discern which areas to work out. Let's work out this area. Okay, so it worked out now because I indicated that the equilibrium quantity is 50. That now my little shape has changed into a rectangle instead of the square I wanted. So anyway, let's just work with that. So remember you have two options. So either you can use price times quantity. I'm going to use that one now. So my price is 10 times my quantity which is 50 and that gives me 500 so my revenue or in this case my expenditure turns out to be 500 so you could use your formula for your rectangle as well because my square has turned into a rectangle sorry about that guys so it could be your length times width and that would be 10 times 50 and that gives me 500 the same as with the one that I showed you price times quantity which was just 10 times 50 as well to get my expenditure which is 500 let's look at producer surplus so producer surplus is the difference between the amount that a producer of a good receives and the minimum amount that he or she would be willing to accept for that good. Let's look at the graph for producer surplus. So let me just include my demand curve in here first and my equilibrium quantity and my equilibrium price. I'm keeping it the same values as for my consumer surplus. And now what I need to look at is what is producer surplus. So producer surplus is the difference between the actual amount that the supplier or the producer received 
for the quantity and the minimum amount or the minimum price that they were willing to supply at. So let's make that minimum price $5. So now I have to look at working out this triangular area over here. And how you normally will see the triangular area is that it's below the split line. I call the split line just my line, uh, my equilibrium line there. And it is basically between the supply curve and my equilibrium line or my split line. So this is it's this whole area here. So I'm going to use the same formula half times base times height. Now my base would turn out to be $5, difference between 10 and 5. And my height would then be 50 still. So it's the same as below. Now that would give me half times base times height, which is 50. That should give me 125. Let's work out this area. So that would be price times quantity or you could use that formula of yours length times width. Doesn't matter, you just have to look at the shape but in order to calculate revenue I'm going to use my revenue formula and my price at that equilibrium is 10 times the quantity that the producer is supplying there is 50 and that should give me 500 and that's the revenue that the producer is collecting but what about this area over here remember <laughs> the producer has costs so we have to consider that part of it will be kind of what they're making in profit and the remainder of it would be their cost so that is why we indicate that blue area now I want to put the two together. So I want to show you, that is why I indicated that demand line of mine before. I want to show you where my consumer surplus is and where my producer surplus is on the same graph. And we need to look at the two together in order to get this community surplus of mine. So again, I have, let's use the same amounts that I used before, 50, 10, and 20 and 5 and you can see here again I have my equilibrium split line there and like I said to you before my I will find my consumer surplus or that triangular area of the consumer surplus above my equilibrium line and between the demand curve over here and I will find my producer surplus below the equilibrium line and in between the supply curve. Now you will note as well that on the graph is indicated marginal social costs and marginal social benefits. This will be important when we actually start looking at externalities, etc. So when we are looking at marginal costs, we're looking at additional social costs and my marginal social benefits as the additional social benefits. And when we actually start looking at externalities, it's important because as soon as government or any business starts deciding on going ahead with a particular pro project or whatever, they have to look at a situation where my marginal social benefits are exceeding that of the marginal social costs. Otherwise, there's a huge cost to society and basically reducing consumer surplus and producer surplus and creating deadweight loss. But for now, let's just look at it as supply and demand. And you can see here the total, these two together, my consumer surplus and my producer surplus gives me my community surplus. My community surplus is my consumer surplus plus my producer surplus and as it's stated over here is the welfare of society in, and is made up of those two surpluses. Awesome. 
So I hope you guys understand consumer and producer surplus a little bit better. And if you found my video helpful, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I am going to put out a lot more videos. And I hope you love economics as much as I do. So awesome. See you guys later. Bye.